Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I am Candy, and today we're going to try out this Royal Inlay Nickel Sketching Made Easy set. Um, it says it has four 8x10 projects. Um, let's see what else it says. It says it's 19 pieces. It has a sketching guide, um, sketching sticks, a sharpener, um, this says crayon, I don't know why there would be a crayon, but I'm thinking pencil, um, eraser, graphite pencils, so maybe there is a crayon, I don't know, um, and then it shows you the, uh, there's like a little swatch right there. And let's open this up and see what's inside. Oh, and I found this at Five Below store for five dollars so that's not bad five dollars for 19 pieces of something Ooh. all right and it's all in this handy dandy bag here Okay, when I was reading this, that must have been just a, another language that said crayon. That's, there's not a crayon in here. This says probably uh, keep away from the kids, from the babies on the plastic. Let's see. There's a tape keeping this closed. Okay, so on pencils and graphite, um, H means hard. And B means, I think, bold. Or black means. That might be make it hard, uh, easier to remember is um, you'll get blacker with the B and um, lighter with the H because it's harder, harder um, substance. So those are the sketching sticks. And then there's the eraser. There's the pencils. There's a 3H, H, 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 B, 2B, 5B, and 6B. And here's the little sharpener. That's nice that they included one. It's tiny, but it, it should work. I thought it had instructions. Maybe it's in here. Oops. Yeah, there it is. So there's a dolphin picture. 
There's a um, sea turtles. There is an octopus and a seahorse. Do not know which one I want to start with. Kind of like the turtle. I have a couple of people in mind that would love all of these or different ones. So let's see. Shading. Shading from dark to light for your pencil strokes. Lengths and use multiple layers to create a smooth shading. And then it shows you how to cross hatch, blend, um, scribbling, circular, burnishing. So it explains any of all of those. Um, let's see. Okay, so they recommend using a paper towel wrapped around your finger for blending. You can also use a blending stump or any of those other things you might want or you already have if you have it. So this is the shading and this is the cross hatching. That's blending for scribbling example of it. Five is circular and six is a burnishing. That's when you smash down the tip of the paper. gives you examples like water you side to side because when you do water you want to do the uh, horizontal just to uh, signify that's water and then grass you use vertical up and down strokes and let's see Skies, there are three steps to create smooth skies with clouds. Lighten crosshatch with an HB pencil, blend smooth with the tissue, erase out the cloud formations. Trees and foliage, foliage, how to create illusion of leaves without drawing each and every leaf by using the scribbling pencil technique. Start the first layer to shape the leaf bound bundles, draw the branches that are not hidden by leaves, then build layers, working the darkest shadows areas to the lighter leaf areas. Uh, and you add more definition and texture. Let's see. Weathered wood, drawn details of the wood, grain, and knots. Use the burnishing technique with firm broad strokes. Well, this is good. That gives you more than just tips for what we've got going on here because like, we don't have trees underwater, and these are all underwater things, which is absolutely fine. Um, so that way you can use this stuff even after you're um, finished with the four projects that they give you. It looks like the paper they uh, put it on is kind of like almost cardstock almost. It's a little thinner. Hopefully it has enough tooth to hold all of this.
there's six of these and six of these, so that's 12. I wonder what the uh, differences between all the colors are, but I think I'm gonna do the turtle. So I'm gonna get just a piece of paper. It's not the same kind of paper, so it might be different, but I'm gonna go ahead and make my own watches just to see how this looks. Maybe not as a controlled as a pencil, but showing a whole lot of differences here but um, when you're working and you decide you want somewhere darker you just go back over the sections that you want to to add more darkness but if you start with the 6b you're gonna get there a little quicker than if you start with the HB or whatever because this is, this is um, graphite, not charcoal. Charcoal, you would get darker right away. But that's cool. I'm going to uh, wash my hands real quick. It'll get dirty again, but I'm going to wash them before I touch all over the art. And I'll be right back. fish looks like over here and some other little tiny fishes so I'm just gonna play around and see what what we get out of this I 
forgot to try out the pencil sharpener, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out real quick. I like my pencil sharp. Hey, that did pretty good. Look how sharp that is, that's pretty sharp. I'm not mad about that at all. Okay. It's usually best to like work from left to right if you're right handed so that way you, you, when you work it your arm doesn't drag through. So I think I'm going to try that approach. This stuff's a lot harder too so I'm going to I'm going to fast forward through this and I will see you at the end. Okay, so I took my time um, and shaded in this cute tortoise's um, artwork that came in the Royal and Lane Nickel um, Sketching Made Easy pack from Five Below. And I really, really enjoyed doing this. Um, I took out the, I didn't have to draw it, I just shaded it in. So I guess instead of calling it a sketching pack, it should be called a shading pack or whatever, but it was really fun. And there is still, um, I think it'll be three more projects that I can do. There's a um, dolphins, a seahorse, an octopus. Um, I just really, really enjoyed doing this. It was fun, relaxing. You could put your own spin on it, and make which parts you want to be dark and which parts you want to be light. And yeah, I highly recommend this, this set. This is what it looked like. Um, it could be for somebody that's really, really good at shading or somebody just starting. Um, I would have some paper towels around to keep my hands clean or to help blend. Um, I did end up pulling out my 
um, silicone brushes that I typically use for my pastel work and I use that to blend some of the graphite and it blended pretty easy that way um, just because when I wrapped the paper towel around my finger like it said I couldn't get the little tiny details that I wanted so what I would suggest getting this maybe even maybe q-tips or something if if you don't have these um, this was really fun um, I hope you enjoyed watching please like subscribe and leave a comment have a great day